Good afternoon, North. My name is Andrew Nettleblad, and I'm joined here by my associate, Landry Bruton. Landry, how are you doing today? I'm doing wonderful. How about yourself? I'm doing well also. We're coming live from Studio 424. This is ESP BVN. Matthew Hansen and Cameron Stevens were killed last year in a horrible dabbing accident, and Johnny Douglas has not been seen since. It's quite tragic, isn't it? I know where he's hiding. Okay, and then uh, <laughs> we're going to move on to boys soccer. Boys soccer. Uh, Landry, let's talk about Levy Ilesh a little bit. I'm impressed, you know, like he's a very aggressive player, you know, played for Sporting KC. Uh, he's pursuing a hat trick this season. But this is not your typical hat trick. This man's pursuing a hat trick in red cards. First That's time in history. First time in BV in history. Truly unbelievable player. He's a man among children out there. Absolutely. With that said, we're talking about Jacob Hahn. Jacob Hahn coming out of nowhere. Getting a red card for the whiteout game. This is true. I, just, I didn't see that coming from him, you know? Like, Absolutely not. From Jacob I sold Hahn. him a soda stream at Bed Bath & Beyond, and he just didn't seem like an aggressive guy. Not one bit. Not one bit. Okay, I would have to agree. Now we're going to move on to girls' tennis. And for all those who don't know, two weekends ago, girls' tennis won state, securing the victory over... Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> securing the victory over Shawnee Mission East, a... Our rival, especially in girls' tennis, very big win. We're very proud of our girls' tennis team. We're going to take it over to Irene Guo for this interview. Irene? Thanks, guys. Okay, so we have a state championship over here in her natural habitat. Let's take a closer look. Yeah, absolutely. That's amazing, Irene. Thank you so much. Key players here. Right now, we're going to talk about Raleigh Barthol. Raleigh Barthol averaging... 420 yards of kicking yardage per game. That, that is, is definitely crazy. something to be proud of. I don't understand why Coach Sims has not That's put him in at quarterback. It's, it's yeah, like he belongs. Believe Keelan Hunter making big plays along with Harrison Frazier and Peter Klug. And now uh, volleyball this season. We talked a lot about this. Volleyball has had overwhelming success this season. Their record right now is 24 and 11. They're ranked second in the state right now. Coach Allen just this season secured his 500th victory. That is definitely something interesting. It shows a lot about who he is as a yeah, man and big five what, he, what he brings to BVN. Yeah. Absolutely. If you could ask him anything, what would you ask him? I would ask him where that man gets his haircut. I hope it's not sports clips, but I would Absolutely. Know. Our seniors this year, Natalie Line, Annie Turner, Rachel Reiner, and Meg Smith, all bringing in new dynamics, bringing in new play styles to BVN. It's unbelievable the progress they've made this season. They're going to state very soon. It's going to be just an interesting way to see how we're going to finish out this season. We have breaking news coming in right now. Davis Harrison turning on the boosters at the most recent cross country meet. Let's go to the live footage right now. Time to start turning on the boosters, dog. Turn on the boosters for this. Keep turning them on. Keep passing them. Keep passing them. Turn on the boosters. Turn on the boosters! The boosters! Want to turn on the boosters? Turn it on the boosters Absolutely. for sure. Turning on the quote boosters, that man absolutely How many did. people did he pass passing, in that video? Passing, let me see, eight people. Eight people. Eight. Wow. At the, in the tail end of the race, really just absolutely something to be proud of. Really That's representing crazy. what we are at North, finishing strong, finishing on top. Let's head over to Irene to see uh, what Davis has to say about this video. Irene? Thanks guys, I'm reporting live from the race course itself. So Davis, how did it feel to be turned on by those boosters? It felt good Irene, you know, once I turned on the boosters, I knew that it wasn't really about what's in here. I knew it's, it's about what's in here Irene, that's what I figured out. Thanks Davis, wow you really are quick. This has been Irene Guo reporting live from ESP BVN. Now on to the weather. Thanks Irene. The weather's outside today. It's about medium. That's uh, it's, the sun is out, you know. And our cross country team goes past just Davis. We have an amazing girls team. Absolutely, you know? girls. At team. our last tournament, we finished top five at the meet for girls. That is crazy. I mean, Best team in the state by far. Truly unbelievable. Well, fortunately, that is all we have time for today. Thank you for your time. My name is Andrew Nettleblad. and I'm Landry Bruton, and we'll see you in the next edition of ESPBBN. Good afternoon, everybody.